Hello everybody, welcome uh, to my first video tutorial uh, on modeling and uh, this is uh, gonna be my uh, the third car I make and also please bear in mind that uh, I am not a native English speaker so uh, please bear that in mind while watching the series and so let's start by uh, making some reference images we're going to be using. So I purchased this uh, blueprints from the blueprints.com and uh, I did add some white background and change the color here. Okay, for now, let's use this for our reference and to do that I will try and separate all these views so uh, let me start by adding some line here control R to bring the ruler and get this one down here down there and get a few ones here okay what I want to do also is uh, slice divide the scene here Well, for now we don't need to do that necessarily. Let's just try using the reference lines. Get what we want. And we have everything set over there. And let's move this guy down. Okay, just to make it perfect, let's do it this way. Zoom in and try to bring the line closer to the car here. And I will also do that for the front. Get that one. Coming down there. I have stop one, so it's okay. And I want to add one more down here. Later, we'll take note of the uh, this the length and di dimensions of the car. this down closer and uh, we already have a problem here as you can see this line is not following well but let's just use the one on the top here so moving on we can add another one here I will get this one closer like that. Zoom in. Get this one closer. So you not don't necessarily need to be this precise, but I like to do one at least there because it's gonna be easier later on my intricate maps. So let's do it like this for now. This one as well. Uh, 
I'll just leave it like over there. And uh, we have a last one, I think. Um, should be already on the rise, but well, almost there. Let's leave it like that. So now we have separated all of these. Uh, we can I use the select tool and it will want to snap on these borders so just control C open a new tab let's make it to 3000 by 3000 and uh, the background Okay, let's make white for now and paste this. Okay, we slide even copy merged. So let's delete this layer and go back. So I um, select this guy. I'll turn it off and copy merge select. I can just copy select uh, and paste here. Okay, I see that look good. I have everything selected as well. So do the copy again. Well I forgot that these guys I didn't merge them together, so that's why it's getting that. Let's just match both layers. And now we can copy paste here. And this will center it now like on the right way. So we can make this a layer background and copy the options color overlay. Let's make it to gray. So To make a life easy, let's do it. Oh, 170, 170, 170. Okay, I see. I want it a little darker. 95, 95. Okay, that's good. And pick the layer and say multiply now we have that and then save it as well sometime I also want to have them as transparent layers but for this time I will just do it normally make it easier so oh, this one is going to be left view. Save it as a JPEG. And let's make a call it blue frames. Save it there. And we'll do the same with all of these. We just select. I want to deselect this one and control C to copy and make a new layer 3000 3000 maybe I can save this person this at the end let's see Just do it like for now. And I will call it blue frames. Control V paste and 
Let's copy the layer style and paste it on this one. Let's make it a background first. And this layer style, we'll make this one multiply. Okay, I should have named this one differently. This one is going to be the front view. And then let's save it as JPEG. And that's basically all you need to do for the rest. I will do it a bit quicker. Control C to copy. And let's just paste it here. And we will multiply and save as. This one is going to be the top view. JPEG. Saved. And the last one. here multiply and save as so okay, this one is gonna be the back view save as back view jpeg and so that's it for the first part. Next, we will add all these background images, uh, all these blueprints for our background. Uh, we're gonna help. That's gonna help us model the car a bit too. So, see you on the next episode. Bye. Thanks for watching.